NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Seems like the whole planet is uh, facing a heat wave this week and we're not immune. Yes, yeah, so much of the U.S., central U.S. has had this warmth for a couple of weeks while well, we've been cool. Mm -mm, not this week, though. <laughs> this week is definitely the hottest that we've seen so far this year. I don't think we hit 90 maybe three days in a row, so probably not a heat wave by definition, but you will feel it. We'll take a look at uh, rainfall today. We've been talking about how we need rain. Not everyone getting a lot. I mean, Rutland 0.07. That's a drop in the bucket in at the uh, weather station at least. But Messina 1.66 today uh, just from the rain that's gone through about a half inch in the Champlain Valley and 0.66 in Montpelier. So the rain, the heaviest of it is leaving, but still a lot of pockets of rain, even some thunder right now over Russell and Governor moving up towards Potsdam in the Champlain Valley, a downpour about to be over Burlington. It's over Charlotte and Shelburne right now and not much in southern Vermont, though. See how the clouds kind of break up there just west of Bennington. That could be an issue in the next four hours because there's still a risk for severe weather and with a little bit of sunshine, which we've been lacking so far today, it may bring up the chance for some storms to the south. A lot of spin with this system, too, which is partly why we are thinking about severe potential for southern areas. A murky scene there in Plattsburgh, 72. Dew point is 70, which is when you really feel the humidity. And it's going to be consistent this week through at least Thursday, I think, about 70 for the dew point. So if you don't have AC, you really feel it, especially overnight. Temperatures right now also in the 70s, but the dew point map is shaded in red, which is uh, the tropical levels of humidity. So evening storms will slowly diminish overnight, especially after midnight. And tomorrow is actually a mostly dry day. So is Wednesday. There's just a tiny chance with the humidity that something could pop up later in the day. But Thursday absolutely has the best chance for storms when a cold front goes through. So the stuff we've got now slowly will shift out to the north and east. Tomorrow, sunshine, we'll say partly sunny. Hazy sun certainly with all the humidity and considering how hot it is. And look at this, 5 o'clock tomorrow, that would be the little chance for a storm. And there's no guarantee that it's there. It could be anywhere in our area. But I don't think many of us get one of those. Wednesday is more of the same where it's sunny or partly sunny and mostly dry and then a shower or two pops up later in the day. Thursday, though, even in the morning, we could have some thunder. That's when the front starts to come through. So I think of the next four days, Thursday is the wettest. It's also the most humid. Dew points in the low 70s then getting some relief in here by Friday and certainly Saturday. So some rain, some thunder, maybe a strong thunderstorm this evening. Not really cooling off too much. And then highs 80s for the most part tomorrow. Some spots coming very close to 90, like Ticonderoga. Burlington at 88 tomorrow, but Virgin's in 89. So you see what I mean? We're so close to the 90 mark. And even in the five-day forecast, we've got a lot of that. 92 on Wednesday. Best chance for showers and storms on Thursday. That's why we have the impact icon on Thursday and then behind the front more comfortable but still hot there on Friday 89 with sun and then we'll be timing out another front over the weekend so at least for now we're painting at a chance for showers or storms both days but once the timing is figured out uh, we'll know when that drying sets in. Stu, Alice.